Scare tactics are not proper training. Abuse and forcefulness is not proper training. Fucking idiots. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Ah. Uh, I'm so glad to be back here. There's first off some things that I want to initially say, but before I get into that, if you are new to my Raleigh Reacts videos, welcome to these trash filled videos, bitch. These are videos that I make mostly reacting to animal abuse, but it can really be about anything. As always, these videos are just my opinion. I can't stress this enough. Feel free to leave your opinion in the comments below. If you disagree or agree, I'd love to know your thoughts. But as always, these videos are submission based. So if you would like to send me a video to react to, please send it to raleighreacts at gmail.com right up there on the screen and in the description down below. I also want to say a massive Massive, massive thank you for all of the support on my latest video. For those of you guys who don't know, I am starting up a bunch of new video series that are also going to be really fun. Just because doing these videos, I will always do them. It's who I am. I'm an animal activist. But these videos really, really take a huge toll on my mental health. And there's a lot of videos that I watch and react to that are sent to me that I can't show you guys because it's just way too graphic for YouTube. And the purpose of these videos is to spread a message and I won't be able to do that if all my videos get taken down due to graphic content. So I have decided to branch off and along the way do some really fun other types of videos. So I really appreciate the support on my previous video. It was definitely a blast to film and I'm really excited for futures of that series. Also, a huge thank you for all of the newest support on one of my videos that I uploaded a few weeks ago. For those of you who don't know, this video was removed by a false DMCA copyright strike claim about, I want to say, three or four weeks ago, and I fought their countersuit because they were just upset about what I said and trying to get me to take it down, which is hilarious in my opinion. But anyway, so I won the countersuit and that video has just been reinstated because it is fair use, it's legal, it's my video. So I will link this video down below. It didn't get the views or the recognition that it should have. So if you would like to go see that video, thank you so much for your support. Let's go ahead and let's get into it. Okay, this is, I'm, ugh. Trailering a horse is one of my biggest pet peeves because all too often it's done the complete wrong way. And the reason it's become a huge pet peeve of mine is because my horse, Link, was severely abused by his original owners before he was rescued, sent to the shelter, and then I adopted him in the trailer. When you scare a horse into going into a trailer by wrapping a rope around its back end, by beating them, by pulling them in the trailer, your horse will be scared of that trailer or any trailer for the rest of time when you try loading them. I swear to God, because my horse is that exact same way, I work with him every single day and week and month on trailering and it has to be a continuous thing even if we don't go anywhere because that's how traumatized he was from his first trailer experience. You should only teach a horse how to trailer when you have optimal time. You should never rush a horse to get into a trailer, force a horse to get into a trailer because you know what? It's going to cause the horse to freak out, to panic, they're gonna feel like they're trapped and you know what? Have a little bit of empathy Okay, horses are fight or flight animals and you're asking a horse to go into a tiny little box and be confined. That is such a scary thing for a horse to do without proper training. Scare tactics are not proper training. Abuse and forcefulness is not proper training. Fucking idiots. Thank you. 
Honestly, I just, I'm all for people writing bitless. But this hackamore looks like it applies a significant amount of pressure to the horse's face. The shank looks ridiculously long, and it actually looks like it's hurting the horse. When I tell people to go bitless, choose the best method for your horse and the softest method, which most of the time is a side pull, is a, you know, bitless bridle such as Dr. Cook's or such as a star wheel hackamore type mechanism. Anything that has a shank does apply a significant amount of pressure to the horse's face. I've ridden in them before and there can be mechanical hackamores with shanks that are a lot easier on the horse's face. It really depends on what you get, but I would just recommend staying away from those, which is why I no longer ride in them. Again, I'm all for people riding bitless, but I've got to be unbiased here when I say that it does look like that horse is uncomfortable and it does look like that hackamore is applying a significant amount of pressure. What the fuck? Um, what the actual fuck am I watching? Six seconds in. like cuts to guys doing some shitty ass workout who think they're buff. <laughs> obviously they're idiots, I mean I don't even know what else to say. Actually I shouldn't say that, you know honestly like different cultures treat animals differently but again just because it's tradition doesn't make it okay. I see people saying this literally all the time and it's the most annoying thing. People are like, well, it's their culture, so whatever, it's totally fine because it's their culture. Like, what does that even mean? Traditions change over time because the majority of them are really unethical and that's why they're no longer a thing, okay? I, I really have no idea how people get into that mentality in the first place because the logic there is so flawed and makes absolute no sense. It's so sickening and so sad to see stuff like that because horses are living, breathing animals. Just because you have papers saying that that horse belongs to you or just because it's a different species and we've become accustomed to taking advantage of them and riding them doesn't mean that you have the right to take advantage of that animal, to do whatever you want with it, to treat it like it is a piece of machinery that you own. It's a living creature. Anyway guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and also for all of the things I said in the beginning of the video. Once again, make sure to check out Shop Raleigh and Link. I'd really appreciate it, but otherwise I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.